I think the major impact is going to be that we have space again that was designed intentionally for the type of learning that we do as a school. So when I think about project-based learning and needing to be able to move tables aside and work on the floor for big posters and all of those different types of things, we have furniture that was picked for that purpose. To be able to have covered space outdoors to where we can utilize that space all in all different weather elements to be able to have in the k1 classroom this huge space um, with a restroom inside and the cubbies inside there are just so many different ways that i think our learning experiences are going to be changed and the flexibility of spaces i think is going to make a big difference for us i've taught at this school for 12 years now and so i've kind of lived through different iterations of our structures uh, we started off as a kind of an abandoned wing in the middle school, uh, just a couple hundred yards back behind me here. Uh, and so it was not a purpose-built space. We were kind of just fitting into something that was existing already. And then we moved over to the old Lincoln School while this building was being renovated. And so it's great to finally be here uh, after all these years in a school that was built just for our program. Uh, so it seems to kind of give a legitimacy to our school. Uh, kind of giving it a permanent home, a place that it deserves uh, as a school in the district. And so we have beautiful community space that we've never had before. Uh, so we have a beautiful space together here. We have a kitchen, uh, have a wonderful classroom, has great views uh, into the Siskiyou Mountains, big windows, much bigger than I ever imagined. Great lighting, uh, beautiful tongue groove ceilings, uh, lots of storage and uh, good technology, excellent Wi-Fi and everything's really compact, so it's nice. Uh, it makes our transitions much faster when kids are moving around in different locations. Uh, everything's just really fits well, sort of like, you know, just sort of made just for us. So it's, it's very nice that way. I'm most excited about the school library because like it's new and like I've never seen it before. Like, it's just that I really like reading, so. Uh, I am most excited about this being a permanent home for our students to really settle into, to be proud of, to make their mark on. And that, for me, starting out with my oldest, who's now in high school, um, started at kindergarten in the old wing of the middle school. And I remember that first time going in there and kind of seeing the school, and we were in love with the staff, we were in love with the school, we were in love with the idea of everything, and it just didn't feel like a place that fit all those ideas. So for me, seeing all of this and seeing the students come in and being able to have this home that's theirs and us create it from the bottom up is amazing. In the school, I'm just excited to not have lead in our water. And then I'm also excited um, about like just learning in like a new space. I like the different heights of the desks. And I also just like sitting at a table with like four people. I think it's just like an easier space to work in because it felt like in the old school, it felt like really, really crammed because it was just like one single strip of hallway, which it still is. It's just like more outwards, I guess. I'm excited for like my brother to be here too, because that's really nice. We can have diverse learners have desks that fit them right and have, you know, a space that is not only clean and bright and vivid and have windows. And it's hard, I think, for a lot of kids to learn in an environment that's chaotic and that is, you know, dingy and old and dirty and unsafe and, you know, so I think from a teaching point of view, having, you know, these big windows and these big spaces and these hallways and then having community areas. One of the things that really as a parent and as a teacher, um, I noticed a lot already is when we were in the old building, you know, it was a small little area, but the olders were with the youngers a lot more. And so you have these middle school kids who were still really engaged with our young students. And you know, being housed at Lincoln for a couple years and COVID, our middle school age kiddos kind of lost that connection. And so one of the things I'm already seeing from us being in this building is that coming back again. And when you see in the community space that we have, we can really have the kiddos and you'll see like, you know, kinders with their like eighth grade buddies and seventh grade buddies and sitting close and you see those I already see those middle schoolers kind of settling back into like being part of that group again and not being with that, oh, I've got to be, you know, big and middle schooly, um, which was something that was so special about us before at the old building. And even though we didn't have 
a great space, it really fostered those feelings and I see where this building now is fostering that same relationship. I think what I'm most excited about is that this school was built for us. The amount of time that went into the design process, the amount of voice that we got to give as a school through the entire process, um, both families, students, staff members, the community in general, you see the outcome of that. You see this amazing covered space outside, our community room with garage doors that roll up and having that indoor outdoor space to finally have a library. It's hard to say what I'm most excited about other than that this is ours and it was built for us.